Hey guys, uh, Jennifer from Scrapping Under the Influence. So I have a new project for you today. I used the um, Doodle Bug French Kiss paper that is brand new that just came out here a couple weeks ago. And this entire project is in Cricut Design Space. Um, I've used either free shapes or access images for the entire thing. So most anybody with um, a Cricut in Design Space should be able to cut this. Um, I have an assembly video getting that I'm going to get ready to load here in just a minute. But I just wanted to show you the project and kind of walk through. So I've got a little box that I've done here and decorated with, you know, some of the um, odds and ends from the collection kit. I actually, so what I did for the top of this, I took this little ephemera piece because I thought it was cute, but it wasn't big enough. And I recreated it on the top using um, the odds and ends. And I actually mounted this, you can just barely tell, on a piece of acetate. So it really gives it more of an, and then they're popped on top of that. So it really kind of gives the illusion that they're floating. And I love how that turned it out. I may have to do that again. That was just, you know, me not loving what I was coming up with for the top of the box. And there we go. Okay. So when we open this up, here we have our album. There's the bottom of our box. And what we have is an accordion album that you could set out on, um, you know, a mantle or, you know, just somewhere with pictures and whatnot. Um, I did this as more of a Valentine's themed, but you could really depending on your paper, you could do it for anything. So let's take a look. So each one of these, um, for the front of the album, these are um, frames. So they're open at the top so that you can slide a picture down in there. I've just used the different odds and ends pieces, um, some of their sprinkle shapes, um, shape sprinkles, uh, some of their glitter dots and whatnot to decorate the different elements um, and whatnot here. So I used the paper from French Kiss and I also used the coordinating um, petite prints because I love the petite prints. I have like an entire drawer full of petite print paper because it's so versatile and it works with everything and it works with multiple collections of Doodlebug and it's awesome. So second page we've got you know cute little uh pilot in his little airplane with his banner um you know some more of the little shape sprinkles and things here and there the other little pilot in her airplane um some little balloons that i forgot to do my string on <laughs> but that's okay uh and like i said all of these are open at the top so you can get a picture in here or whatever you want to do. You could put them in here permanently. You could do this in more kind of a general theme and change those out as you wanted to. Um, on the back, we've got some more of the um, odds and ends and, and glitter dots and, you know, so on and so forth. When you look at the back side of this, we have pockets. And in each pocket, we either have a couple of little photo mats just really basic little photo mats. Or we've got tags that you can also put photos. You could do, you know, some little journaling on here. You could, you know, add something, you know, just a little white block on here to do journaling on. Um, and then I've just taken, in, in this case, um, one of the stickers that comes in the paper collection and put that onto a piece of... Um, the petite prints and then just fussy cut around it to kind of give it that little border just to give it a little bit more strength for um, sitting on the front of the pocket. I've done the same thing here. Here we've got a couple more little tags. And two more little photo mats. And these on the front are all of, there's a, a whole sheet of these little like two and a half inch square cut aparts that are just absolutely adorable. I can't even tell you. Um, and then the last couple of pages here, we've got more 
tags. This one I couldn't resist. This little shape sprinkle fits perfectly over the little bouquet that she's holding in her hand and it just kind of gives it some dimension and some fun. Um, and then a couple more of the um, photo mats with the journaling spots. Um, so that's it. Uh, the entire project to put together from start to finish um, before I decorated took maybe 45 minutes. Um, that included the time it took to cut out everything, um, but the overall assembly time was like 45 minutes and then the decorating, of course, takes longer because it always takes longer. So um, I hope you like it. I've got, like I said, I did the little box to go with it. You could do this as a gift box. You could use it to store it if you've done a seasonal one. Um, keep it nice and protected in there. And um, I hope you like it. Thanks.